Hello everyone, I am Bharat Singla and welcome to Learn Competitive Programming with Codechef. If you desperately want to master competitive programming and get your hands dirty in data structures and algorithms, then this is a one-stop destination for you. Every week, we upload problem explanation from Codechef's contests, conceptual videos on various programming paradigms and also conduct live interactive sessions. But before we start off, here's a reminder for you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Great. Now that you have subscribed, let's get started. It's a big swerve, as you can see. You've got the perfect picture there. He's potted it. So here's the question, guys. So you are playing billiards on an end by end table. Like in this problem statement, you are made to imagine those things that will otherwise never happen with you. Yeah, so billiards on a square table and that too with four pockets instead of six. So, yeah, so jokes apart. So, yeah, a billiards table, an n by n table with four corners, like a six by six table would have these four corners given by these coordinates. Fine. So, now we start from the coordinate x, comma y, that is our cue ball is placed at this coordinate. So now we shoot the ball at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. So what this basically means is that let's say I am at this point. Fine. So I'll be shooting the ball at this angle, right? Which makes 45 degree. Fine. So this will be my initial shooting direction. And now it's given that on hitting uh, any of the sides, the ball continues to move with the same velocity and ensuring that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Fine. So you can also take that. Uh, there are four mirrors place like a square, right? And uh, you are just throwing a beam of light. Fine, with the normal, that is the, and also it's all, yeah, this is uh, another important thing that there's zero frictional loss. So basically the ball is here, it will be shot in this direction and this will be the first collision point, right? And after this, here it's making an angle of 45 degree. So after this, it will get reflected and now it will hit this point. And again, this angle will also be 45 degree because the player is not so pro and he does not know how to give Q-spin, right? So the angle of incidence is angle of reflection and here again after this it will get reflected and this will also be 45 degree and so on like this and this will be the third collision point and all, right? So now it's also given that on hitting either of the four corners the ball stops there and doesn't move any further. Like it happens in billiards as well, right? So the four pockets, if the ball enters one of them the ball stops there, right? Otherwise, it just keeps on reflecting and reflecting. Fine, so now we need to find the coordinates of the kth collision. So find the coordinates of the ball when it hits the sides for the kth time. And otherwise, there's another case that if the ball stops before hitting the side k times, then find the coordinates of the point where the ball stopped. Basically, if it enters the any of the pockets before k collision, then print the coordinates of that pocket. Fine, so now if, let's say k is one, so, and we are given this initial position. This is nothing but 4, 2, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2. So, 4, 2 is our initial position that is given. And if k is 1, so we need to print the coordinates of this point, right? And if k is 2, then this point. If k is 3, then this point. And if k is 100, so the 100th point. Or if the ball enters any of the pockets before that, the coordinates of the pocket. Right? So, this is the problem statement. And, like, just imagine the fun that the player is having. Right, he's playing billiards on a square table with four pockets and there's no other ball as well, right? Only the cue ball and he's shooting that at an angle of 45 degree and just watching it reflect and reflect. Fine. Yeah, so interesting. Yeah, so this is the problem statement and now let us move on to the approach. So let us first quickly take up the case when the ball enters any of the pocket before k collisions. So this was a very easy observation that, okay, so let us uh, do it step by step. So let's say the ball enters this pocket, right? So now notice that it must have come from this point itself, right? Because it must be coming in this direction. And since we are talking about 45 degrees, we are talking about very geometrical lines, right? Not just any random lines. We are only talking about lines that either go purely diagonally, right? Or in this direction or in this direction and all, right? Not just any random lines. So to reach here, it must have come in this direction Right? And this also implies that if we just extend it, so since the table is square, so it must have come from this pocket. right? And there's no way it could have come from the middle as well because uh, the initial direction of it is this. right? 
so it can only start from the middle in the first hit right after that it's just for riding and coming so basically you can never uh, start from the middle and to reach this pocket it must have come from this pocket and that's a contradiction right because if in its previous hit it would have reached this pocket it would have stopped there right so there's no way the ball can reach this pocket right and same goes for this pocket again right to reach here it must have come from this pocket which basically in this direction which again is a contradiction right and same goes for this pocket as well right it must have come in this direction which means that it must have started from this point right and again the credit goes to uh, the 45 degree reflections and all and right and the table being square so to come here it must have come from here which implies that it must have stopped here so there's no point it can reach these two pockets as well but now notice that although it feels that it's similar for this as well but it's possible to reach here now when now this is because this pocket is special because this is also the initial direction of it so let's say my ball was here initially right so the cue ball was here and i hit it in this direction so in the first hit itself it can reach this pocket any of these points then in the first hit itself it's going to reach here and otherwise there's no way right so what we can conclude from this point is that to reach any of these pockets right it is we have proved that it can never reach these three pockets and it will reach this pocket only when the ball initially lies on this line itself right otherwise like the ball is here then it's just going to reflect and reflect and we have discussed that like basically it can never reach any of these pockets so the problem basically boils down the first case boils down to checking if the ball lines on uh, lies on this line if yes then it can enter this pocket so we can simply print this uh, the coordinates of this pocket that are nothing but n comma n right and otherwise no matter where the ball is it will just keep on reflecting fine so and how can we check that uh, if it lies on this line well it's simple we can simply check if x is y right because the x should be equal to y in all the cases right so simply this check would help us right so this is the case for when the ball stops before k collision and now let us discuss the other case as well so what we can conclude from this is that the ball will infinitely reflect right if it's not if x is not equal to y then it will infinitely reflect and the crucial observation for the other case was that no matter where i start from after four hits i will the ball will just start to repeat its path so basically let's say i am here so this will be the first collision right so this is the first point then from here this will be the second point then the third point will be here right then the fourth point and now notice that the path has overlapped right so the fifth collision will again be this point so this was the first point this was the second point the third collision the fourth collision and now this is also the fifth collision and what this implies is that this will be the sixth collision as well and this will be the seventh collision as well this will be the eighth collision as well and so on right so the ball will just keep on infinitely moving in this rectangle path only right and let's take another case as well right so if the ball doesn't start from here let's take another point so let's say it's here so first it will hit this point then this point then this point right then here then here and notice that it's forming this rectangle again no matter where i start from so it's always going to just keep on to repeat its path so we have basically almost solved almost the full problem that after four hits no matter where it starts from it will repeat its path so can i simply do k mod 4 like we saw that if the ball is let's say here so this was the first point right and this was the second point then the third point is here right then the fourth point is here and again this is uh, even though the first point this is also the fifth point as well this is also the sixth point as well this is the seventh point so can i simply do k mod 4 yeah so this will give me the effective number of collision right so simply i can do k mod 4 so for one starting point there are only four possible collisions after that it's repeating and it's repeating at a cycle of four so we can use this modulo trick to do simply k mod 4 right so for five it will give me one again for six it will give me two again and so on right so i can do this now mainly there are two cases right the first case is that it starts from here that is if this is the diagonal line right so it starts from here and then it goes in this path right 
and the other case is that it starts from this this triangle this uh, left triangle and then it follows this kind of a path fine so one is this reflection right and one is the uh, mirror reflection basically so there are two types of reflections fine and now let us quickly find the four points of collisions so let's say i am starting here so this is x comma y so we need to find those four points and then we can simply print the k mod 4th collision point and that is the answer as well right so if i am at x comma y now again you could either use pure geometry here or pure logic here right pure logic every time works right so let's say i am here so now notice that one observation is that since it's 45 degrees and it, the table is square like all the credit throughout the problem goes to these two properties of the table right so now notice that the amount by which my x coordinate is increasing that is same to the amount by which my y coordinate is increasing as well right so like this is my point then this is the second point so my x increased by one my y increased by one right that is the third point so always they are either increasing or decreasing by one only fine so can i say that let's say i am starting from here then notice that since it lies on in this triangle right so first it will hit this wall and the x coordinate that it's traveling is nothing but n minus x right this this the, co the x coordinate of this point is n the initial coordinate is x so when it's hitting this wall it's traveled n minus x units on the right so it will also travel n minus x units upwards right as you can see like this is a diagonal line so two coordinates here like in this case they were two so two coordinates up as well so can i simply say that the new coordinates of this point are nothing but n that is my x coordinate and my y coordinate is nothing but y plus n minus x right n minus x is the horizontal distance and y is my initial position so y plus n minus x right so this is my first point right and now i am leaving as an exercise uh, for you to find out the other points as well you could either use those uh, equations of lines and all or just this trick that i am using here right so this is the first collision point if the ball lies in this triangle then the second collision point is nothing but y plus n minus x comma n right and then this point will be uh, this point will be x minus y comma sorry zero comma x x minus y right so this is my third point and this will be my fourth point and that is nothing but uh this is x minus y comma zero so these are the only four points of collision and from this also we can prove that it's going to cyclically repeat its path because based on this now notice that it needs to travel this much distance this is nothing but n minus x minus y my current coordinate my current x coordinate and that is also the distance it's going to travel upwards so y plus n minus x and that is nothing but zero currently so zero plus n minus x minus y now notice that this is nothing but n minus x plus y and this expression is nothing but this expression as well right so we have proved that again like first we just did some uh, did a few same simulations but here now we have mathematically proved that it's going to repeat right so these are the four coordinates and now i just messed it a lot so these are the four coordinates and the same way you can do it for the remaining uh, the second triangle as well right so if the ball basically lies in this point so first it's going to hit this wall then this wall then this wall then this wall and then repeat right so same you can do and another thing that you can notice here is that if the ball is here and the symmetrically opposite point is here right and these are also the four coordinates for this point so can i simply say that whatever my initial coordinates are x comma y if it's lying on this triangle still i could use those same four coordinates but with my x and y swapped right because if i swap x and y then notice that this point is nothing but this point now because we have swapped them Fine. and we are we had already done the calculation for any point lying on this triangle so i can initially swap x and y and then notice that this was my first collision point right for uh, a point lying in this triangle which now becomes my second collision point right if i'm here and the second collision point for this point becomes the first collision point for this point same the third becomes the fourth and the fourth becomes the third so simply 
if the point lies in this triangle i can first basically i can first just do the calculations for these four points based on based on this point then if the point still lies here in this triangle then i can swap x and y and my first becomes second second becomes first third becomes fourth fourth becomes first so now from this explanation one can easily make out that even though the problem wasn't very hard but it was not very easy either right and if you were not able to solve the question yourself so then so then you can just watch this video editorial and hopefully you will be able to solve the question right but what about other problems or the problems of the upcoming course chef contest that you are going to encounter in your future right maybe after this video editorial you will be able to solve questions that are very similar to this but what about questions revolving around other competitive programming topics right because these problems are just the applications of concepts right they are not the concept themselves and to really see an increase in your rating or really get better at problem solving we need to become conceptually sound and for that instead of just searching all over the internet and trying to find good resources codechef is a prime location for you so if you did not know that apart from these video tutorials we also conduct live interactive sessions on an academy where we literally teach every possible topic of competitive programming there you will be taught by the top coding experts from around the world who are iui medalists and icpc world finalists and all that stuff right so you are being taught by the best right so that you really get better at problem solving and there we have courses we have micro courses for all skill levels i definitely recommend that you take that course so that not just these problems but even coding interviews become cake walk for you this is one of the best investments that you can make and don't forget to use the code bharat27 to get an additional 10% discount on your subscription as well so hurry up guys quickly subscribe to an academy plus so that you really get better so here's the code guys and it will be in c++ so first we'll take the input for test cases and then run this loop test cases times and the first thing that we are going to do is take the input for the uh, four values that are n k x and y denoting the dimensions of the table and the coordinates that we need to print for the kth collision and the initial position of the ball then as we discussed if that ball lies on that diagonal line so in the first hit itself it will enter the top right pocket where in that case we need to print the uh, n comma n right so space separated and in the other conditions i am just going to maintain this map named mp that will just map an integer that is the number of that is the collision number to a pair of the coordinates fine then if x is less than y that is it's on the left triangle it lies in the left triangle then since we made the calculation and did the calculations for the right triangles and as we discussed we need to swap the values of x and y to get it for the left triangle as well so i'll just swap them and then np1 denoting the collisions of the first the coordinates of the first collision point so np1 is equal to this pair then np2 is this then np3 is this and np4 is this fine so and since we are doing k mod 4 so we only need the coordinates of four collisions and then else it lies on the right triangle these are exactly the calculations that we did right so now int effective collisions is nothing but k mod 4 and now this is a very beautiful mathematical expression what this helps is that notice that simply taking k mod 4 doesn't help us right because it will give 1 for 1 2 for 2 3 for 3 but for 4 it will give us 0 instead of 4 right so k mod 4 doesn't work so we can simply use this very very beautiful and very clean mathematical expression that first we'll decrement k then take its mod and then increment it fine so for 1 it will give us 0 mod 4 that is 0 plus 1 so 1 again same goes for 2 for 3 and for 4 also it's going to give us 3 mod 4 plus 1 that is 4 but for 5 now it's going to give us 0 plus 1 that is 1 so 1 2 3 4 then 1 2 3 4 and this pattern will be followed exactly what we desire so finally i can simply print out the uh, mapping of that effective collision to the coordinates to the x coordinate space separated by the y coordinate so this is the code and let us just quickly submit it and hope for any see but remember guys don't just watch me code out the solution after the video ends try to code it out yourself so that you gain enough confidence that yes i was fully able to understand the question and it also enhances your implementation skills right so make sure to code it and don't forget to smash that like button if you get any see so yes this was a correct answer 
and this winds up the video as well.